Heavenly Father, as always, we thank you for allowing us to get one step closer to your kingdom day by day, Lord. We ask that you continue to strengthen us, lead us, guide us, give us that wisdom and understanding, Lord. Watch over the house of Israel. Continue to make the time short. Take away our adversaries and destroy the enemies, Lord. Lord, as you continue to guide us, not mislead us, I ask you to bless us, watch over us, in your son Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Israel. All right. All praise to the Most High. Um, good to be back with you all um, this Sunday mon morning. Um, we're going to go ahead and read the disclaimer before we get started. Uh, I was Eliah. Shalom, shalom, family. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel United in Christ is a non-violent Bible-based movement. We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity, or gender. We advise that if anyone hears or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone, or to break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities to bring awareness to any possible threat as stated in Leviticus 5 and 1. All praises, all praises. All praises. So, you understand, we ain't in hate group. We love our people. And we got some truth to bring out to our people today. All right. The name or topic of today's class is going to be Abuse of Power, a.k.a police uh, authorities basically right and it go deeper than that you know you can go on to politicians right to, uh the president you know what i'm saying they abuse their power you know but we focusing on today the police all right uh, because the powers that be set forth these governing agents uh, agents to uh govern us you know in our own particular cities hpd NYPD, so right. on and so forth, you know. Um, so understanding we live in a system that's uh, about basically harming our people, not letting our people um, live, all right? When I say live, meaning judging them uprightly, all right? Right. Remembering the laws are, are not set for us to, to literally receive righteous judgment. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not because at the end of the day, we're here for what? Our captivity. Right. That's right. You know, we're here to the, the most high has put us here, uh, sent us here cargo slave ships to uh, refresh our memory. Mm -hmm. If I would say refresh our memory to bethink ourselves, right. to turn back right. to our true nationality, to turn back to the laws. With us turning back to the laws, then we then can govern ourselves as a nation. All right, which will change our mindset mm -hmm. to know how we should roll dealing with this whole system right? and the law enforcement that's set up, all right? right, the powers that be, all right? Like so, mingling with the other nations, you know, when we got right. here and then with the oppression and being up under they, they rules, we start doing the things that they were doing. That's right. And that's then right. we expect to be equal with them or have the same rights as they do, right. and, but they govern us to, to, because they want to, you know, keep us under them. Right, right. Yeah. That's it. And then we start ruling like the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. because right. One we another. learn from the Gentiles, mm -hmm. and then that becomes our mindset. Right. All right. And you, you go see the mindset of these videos and clips that we have to get you in the mindset that our people only do what they know. Mm -hmm. They learn from their oppressor, and they see them get away with certain things, and then they think that, oh, I can get away <laughs> with these things. Right. It's like you got politicians trying to able to dabble with the money and take a little here, this, <laughs> that. No, you're going to jail. Right. But Esau go get away with it. Right. You understand? Uh, so, let me see what I wanted to go to. Uh, let's go to Judges 9 to 24. And I just want to read this definition of judge. It says, to hear uh, ordinances are legal argument in a case mm -hmm. all right you got to understand today your judge during executioner is 
the man with the badge that comes see you. Right. Or that pulls you over with no probable cause. Right. Because you got a broken tail light, which is supposed to be a ticket, but then. You getting it, handcuffed. Right. You getting handcuffed. You get through on the, on the ground. You getting Sandra Bland. You getting. Car searched. Right. It's. And with Aubrey, you know, you they see the new video that surfaced or whatever with him. Uh, uh, well, he tried to tase him, but yeah, mm-hmm. he, he didn't get tased. It didn't work. But the point is, you see them harassing him. Right. He like, man, I'm just chilling. It's my day off. My only day off. Right. My only. Leave me alone. That's like, no, I'm the law. I have the authority and power to do and say whatever I want. Even with the cameras rolling. Yeah. Even with know. the. And, <laughs> that's the funny point. <laughs> They got the, the, you know, they petitioned all these uh, different uh, jurisdictions for us, the you know, legal system, the police systems, to have the the cams, the mm-hmm. body cams on, right? But you try to use that because it's, it's to, to justify be, right. your actions, your it force of authority. It. That's what they try to use it for. Right. Okay, well, since everybody in the whole world recorded, right. well, we're going to record to protect us because we're putting our life on the line. That's right. That's the law that they put in, for, right. in front to say, hey, we still could do the tasing and right. a, a, arresting you, you know. Right, yeah, and it helped <laughs> justify them to say what? Right. I was in the right. A boost of right. their power. That's it. That's what it goes back to. Right, uh, I, I gave him an order. You see, he didn't follow it. Right, so I had to right. escalate to the next step. Right. right. And then I kept escalating because he kept resisting the orders that right. I gave. Right. So now I can bust him upside his head and I'm justified. Right. Right. And that's that's what they teach. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to go, um, if you got to meet them with the same or uh, more force. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's, uh, it's set up, Cap, that um, when you become law enforcement, you can go one threat level higher. Right. Than what is coming to oppose you. Well, I got a gun I mean, or a knife. So if you got a knife, they're going to use a gun. I got a gun. He go mm-hmm. they, and they got tasers on them, right? Yeah, th- yeah. You well, no, rather see, see well, tasers no. used, right. even when tasers used, they prefer they, the gun. They turn back to the gun. They just more comfortable. This ain't working. That. <laughs> I'm not for to shock you two, three times. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot you. Well, you know, your your taser is your uh, secondary weapon. Okay. Uh, when I say your taser is your secondary weapon, meaning that's not no. that's not their primary choice of weapon. Oh, yeah. Right. right you know, right, your, right. your firearm is going to be on your strong right. side. So when right. it comes time to respond to a threat, right. normally they you're, said yeah, that yeah, they you're, 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 you're going to go to your strong side, not to your weak side. I forget what case that was, mm-hmm. but the, the officer said, I thought I pulled out my taser, taser. which was. The one was running away. Yeah, when they when they caught up with him, they pinned him down, and he shot him in the back, close range. He said, "Oh, I thought I pulled my taser. I mean, right. instead of my gun." Right. Wow. Right. That was the older brother wow. that was running from him, and it was the, the older police brother. officer. He right. was like a uh, what they call a reserve police officer. He's and exactly, you're the right, Cap. He said, "I thought I, <laughs> wow. I thought I pulled my taser." Right. Right. Wow. Read that. Read that. Which precept judges did you want? Uh, Job four. nine and twenty four. Okay, my apologies. I thought you said judges. Me too. Yeah, Job, man, my bad. Job nine and twenty four. It's all good, Cap. We all, you know, what I'm saying. I in the got spirit a coffee this morning. Yeah, I hope you still ain't sleep, officer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. It's the book of Job, chapter nine, verse twenty four. He's still sleep, officer. Go ahead and thank <laughs> y'all for rising up. <laughs> the never- earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. For he, you brothers and sisters that don't understand or know who the wicked is, it's your enemy. The lead, the, the lead, the, the, the major wicked on this earth, the number one wicked person on this earth, or nation on this earth, is the so-called white man. Okay? According to uh, Malachi 1 and 4. Mm-hmm. All right? He, this is the one that, this is the nation that hates us. Right. With the utmost hatred. Okay. So uh, so let me touch on this judge. Said so it said uh, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right. Keep reading. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. So let's touch on that. Because it said he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Are we you have to look at it. Are we being uh judged with just judgment? Hmm. Are we being judged like that? No, we're not. We have unjust judges before us. Right. All right, which we're going to see in clips today, that the power that's given to the authorities, all right, via your local authority, not FBI, because we know that's another level, 
uh, CIA, so on and so forth, but this is your local authorities, okay? They have too much power. They don't know how to govern their power. They don't know how to rule righteously, all right? They shoot first and ask question later, right. all right? Go to Deuteronomy 16 and 18. We know all about judges. That's why I said he covered the faces of the judges there. Who was that? Us, right. the Israelites. Because our forefathers gave us those the, the, the understanding of how to judge, of who the judges are. All right. But you have these things that set up to where it's a it's our uh, downfall. All right. And it's in the scriptures throughout, but it's our downfall, especially in this system that's set up to where you have certain attributes and things that um uh, it's a word I'm looking for, uh, attributes, but things you get like from, uh, damn, what you call that? Things you get from, uh, damn, uh, I just say gifts, incentives, incentives things bribes. of that nature, bribes, all that, you know what I'm saying? That you get from having this position. Right. This is the police today. Perks. Perks. That's right. Perks. That's, we go, we for the read that, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16 and verse 18. Uh -huh. Judges and officers shalt thou make thee in all thy gates, which the Lord thy God giveth thee. So this is Moses talking to who? The children of Israel. Mm -hmm. We are those judges. We are the ones that's covered not to be judging the earth today because we sin and we're not in power. When Christ comes back, that's going to all change. But right now we're under another uh, kingdom. One of the other rulership. That's why we're not judging. Right. All right. But Moses gave us how to judge. All right. Read that. Throughout thy tribes, mm -hmm. and they shall judge the people with just judgment. They shall judge the people with just judgment. Meaning they're going to uh, do uh, due diligence. Right. In making sure whatever's brought to them. That they do a diligent inquisition. Right. That they make sure that they crossing their T's and dotting their I's. Hearing the whole matter. Hearing the whole matter. Mm -hmm. How you hear the whole, not just, the scriptures tell you, you can't just uh, under one witness put somebody to death. Right. Two or three or more witnesses. Look at right. Solomon when he judged the two uh, women. That's right. You know, that's right. He used that's right. just judgment. That, that's because when, when Solomon spoke to the most high, he asked for wisdom. Right. Was the how people. to judge mm -hmm. our people. Right. You understand? Keep yeah. reading. Verse 19. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. It's Neither. Saying, you shall not respect persons. Why is that? Like, that's heavy. Because mm -hmm. in a lot of situations, and you just, again, go back to the politicians and your policemen as well. Mm -hmm. It's a respect of persons dealing with them. Right. I was in fear of my life. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the officer said he was in fear of his life. You free to go. That was a just shooting. Hey, Cap. But is it really? No. Right. Go ahead. You know that respect the persons dealing with judgment. You have that lady that's in the in the news right now. Used to be I forget her name. They she played on a uh, Full House. Ain't Becky. About. Whatever what well, they call her ain't Becky. She ain't my ain't it, but you know what I'm saying? She played on right. Full right, House. Right, right. Her and her husband, her husband's a fashion designer. Oh, she's yeah, yeah, yeah. rich. I know what you're talking about, right. Yeah, and it's a whole bunch of them scandal. involved in a scandal right. trying to get their children. They lied right, right. to get their children into school. Mm -hmm. One of the ladies, she only did like two, three days in jail, and they talking about her only doing two weeks. But then you have our people who try to get their kids a good education, and they don't follow what they call the uh, what they call it the uh, district lines or whatever. When uh -huh. your children stay in, like say your where you live, your kids can't go to school in this district because right, right. you they live in that, that district. That address, that right, zip code. Right. 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 Yeah. right, right. They lock our people up for years doing breaking that law, but she gonna get like two weeks off. That's that whole respect the person's thing. Mm -hmm. That's right. And if two weeks in in court with uh some um uh, what they call it um. Uh, community service and right, all that right, stuff. Right, 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 right. Please. So it, we're showing you that this system that's set up, the judgment is perverted because they right. already have a respect the persons. Right. For all, it's so many different levels. Like he bringing out a case for us, the people that was paying some dude, the mm -hmm. you know, basically get their children into colleges. Mm -hmm. This that. And the yes, third, sir. You know what I'm saying? So 
at the end of the day, it's so many levels to this thing. Break all down right? to nations. It yeah, break right. down to um, neighborhoods, wherever you at. We're going right. to judge them like this. You right. Know? Yep. Break down so many That's different levels. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That's right. Keep reading. Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. Mm -hmm. Neither take a gift. Mm -hmm. For a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise. And pervert the words of righteous. You see that? It said the gift, your your uh, pension, your what are some more gifts? I don't know. Uh, basically, these different incentives that you get. You Ten thousand dollar check off to the side. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, you got personal bodyguards. You got policemen. Mm -hmm. Like it, it goes so deep to where company phones, company vehicles, right, right, uh, them country perks. being being country um, club, being part of country right, clubs, right, all right, these yep, type of yep. things. You know what I'm saying? That that blinds the minds of our people, right? You know, because a lot of us come from the ghetto, come from the the bottom, and That's right. fighting for recognition, fighting for um friendship. You know, being exiled out of um certain groups right. to where when we finally get get it in a door, we don't want to relinquish that power. Right. That's the the biggest lie you ever heard our people say. You got to change it for within. Once you go within and you start getting those perks, you're gonna start looking for ways not to help your people, right. That's looking right. for ways to give up on your people. That's they right. don't want to learn. They dysfunctional, right? You know, but so because they learn, they get used to the Starbucks. They get right. used to the uh, they get used for the company buying hey, Chick Fil A yeah. and gourmet meals. That's another perk. They, the cops going to Waterburger and all these different yep. places. Free oh yeah, watches. free oh, this, yeah. free that. My rib used to work yep. there a long time ago, but yep. they get free stuff. Yep. Them, right, right. Them perks, them gifts. Right. First responders and, get and all a lot of meals. times, not all of them go in there with that intention. Right, right yes, right, sir. Right. You know, but then they learn to adapt to their environment. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of being a when you when you first went in, you had the mindset to say. Man, I want to be an aid or assist uh, assist my people right. to talk to the young man. You know what I mean? To when I'm, I want to police my community. Right. You know, so I can be that that, that, that right that walkman right. peace officer. Right. Because back then, police just didn't sit in. Right. Yeah, police didn't sit in cars and ride around, and you didn't know the police officer. It used to be a peace officer, speaking. a walking peace officer. Yeah, he speak to you. He speak to you. He know your mother. He know your auntie. He know what you're capable of doing. It's like now you have police is like they riding through the zoo or, or riding through the jungle. Everybody right. is a threat. You know, so that's why that is so dis, uh, um, dis the police and the, the civilians in that community is a disconnect. Right. So a lot of times a brother would grow up in that environment and say, you know what, I want to go be a police so I can peace, um, um, be that walk peace officer to to um to speak to my people to let them know to be that 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 voice from to be the voice to the voiceless. Mm -hmm. right. But then okay. when they start to get in. And they start to understand that how things go and how much in the um the power that they up against the 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 the, the powers and princip the, the principalities That's and right. dark That's places right. Right. that is so high and so thick. They say, you know what? Let me just fall back. Let me That's just right. do me. Mm -hmm. And then it, it comes from it stages to where you want to do something, and then you start to be reserved, and then your mind starts to convert to way the way they're thinking to where now. Uh, I'm I'm um I'm blue. I'm team blue. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, yeah it, I wish I had the clip. Uh, it's a show that come on, uh, Chicago Fire. No, not that one. It's the police one. Yes, sir. Chicago PD. Yeah. Yes, you know sir. What I'm talking about. The yes, sir. Jake, you got guy. There's a Jake guy on there, yeah, yeah, and basically he like it was a racist Edomite on there. A lot of stuff happened. All right, he came back in contact with him. Um, uh, then he profile this other dude jake walking down the street with a bag this man ain't had nothing to do with nothing mm -hmm. he was taking this nephew or whoever some shoes some jordans or whatever they went in there he went in there and killed them Dang. and they killed him so then now the jake dude has to basically keep his mouth shut to where they're honoring him mm -hmm. as being this great cop this that and the third but he was a racist mm -hmm. yes, sir. he profiled jake going in the building this that right. and the third and then they tried to, um, because they found drugs in there, but it wasn't his drugs. You know what I'm saying? Right. It was his, his cousin or family members. Nevertheless, they tried to still make it like in which it was his. It was his. Right. He, right. he had a, so the, Jake, they basically threatened him pretty much to say, y y you got one, like you just said, Cap, you either go get Team down blue. or lay down. Right. Team blue. You right. with us or you against <laughs> us, basically. You right. know what I'm saying? And then he had to, at the end, he had to say, hey, and his chief was like, 
hey, we got your back. We're going to roll with you. But he get, he laid out all the the um the, the timeline uh, of things what happened. No, no, the repercussions that will happen to him mm. right. if you go this route. Wow. Pretty much scare tactics. Pretty much yes, sir. scare tactics. And to you know what? You and a lot of times they'll show you what what actually happened to certain individuals. Like a cop that you just thought that was mysteriously in a right, car accident. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, no, they it wasn't you, a car accident. They tell you what really happened. They tell you what really happened, you know what I mean? To get your mind right, mm-hmm. you'd be like, Oh wow. You know what I'm saying? Right. Some say that's what happened to Snoop. Right. You know what I mean? When he had to go back and, and apologize for Oprah and, and Gail King. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and yeah. because yeah. these people like like um like Deacon Ace out was going into like the big form. These people got trillions and trillions of dollars. A, a couple hundred thousand dollars to knock you off ain't nothing. They right. they got the media in their hand, they got law enforcement in their hand, right. they got everything in their hands to where they can just eradicate you right. and you and <laughs> Nothing happened. Nobody know. No hey, you know they said they spent uh, millions of dollars in court cases, in mm-hmm. right. in lawsuit cases, right? And but they have they the, money, the money. They power. have the power to do that, <laughs> right? That's what they saw. That they they be ready. Meet my attorney, right? Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Because they know they got a top attorney. Right. Can I can yeah. I bring a precept out? Are oh, you done with that? Uh, yeah, I just want to hit this last. Point. Read that. It says, "And pervert the word of the righteous." So now. What happens is they not go stand up like Cap say you, you right. know the community is right. that no I'm I'm Team Blue now mm-hmm. no he didn't do this he did that instead you know of being an upright judge you're right. converting your words That's because right. you're not telling the truth That's right now you become one right. what you what you hated or what you didn't like or what right. you was trying to be the opposite of right. in your community or whatever right because that some of their mindsets. Now you become just what like you them, hate, right? Basically, because you get because they right. got pictures of your daughter, they got pictures of your wife in right. the park, and they like if you and, if and you move you wrong, fired. if you move wrong, they might just run into a bus on the way home. Well, and the thing also, that's why this truth is so important to overcome your lust and your temptation right. and have discipline. Because a lot of times they get you on the things that you committed, that you actually done, and they right. blackmail right. you and they extort you right. to say if you do this, right. you know. We can do this to you. You can lose your job. You can lose your pension. You can lose this this comfortable life that you created for yourself. Right. That's you don't. Right. You, you got a big house. You don't want to go back to um, a one bedroom shack. Right. 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 You eating all these these gourmet meals. You right. don't want to go back to eating McDonald's. Right. You work Raymond hard Duke. to get here. You right. got all type of name name brand clothes. You don't want to go back to shopping at Walmart and Kmart. You don't want to do that. And these are things that going to process in your head when you make these tough decisions. Right. You're gonna be like, you know what? Nobody know what I'm doing. Right. I signed off on it. He had a gun in his back seat. Right. And you'll sign off on it. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, you don't, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to stand up in court. You don't have to testify. Just sign. Just just, just sign you your signature your right here. Statement. That say, and then we deliver the message, you know, in court oh, say, man. eight officers saw saw the gun. Right. And, and your name is on one of the, and you didn't see, you know they planted a the gun. Right. And you're going to sign your signature right there. Right. Just because the mistake you made. And now an innocent person got to die in vain. Yeah, that's hey, the movie with uh, Denzel. Uh, money, um, your money. T- no, nah, your training day. Yeah, training, training day. day. Same, same mm-hmm. scenario. What we talking about is the same thing. Hey, Cap, it's a real life situation right now going in here in Houston with uh, the officer, the, the black officer that was involved in the shooting back in the beginning of, uh, I think it was like last year, mm-hmm. sometime. The officer Goins. He's no longer HPD. They said it's going to be hundreds of cases going to be overturned because of this brother yeah, and his yeah, falsifying yeah. Of, yeah, when they of went into the house, When they went into the house and shot two Edomites. They killed two Edomites. They killed two Edomites. Yes. Yeah. And they So-called killed. white people. And right. that, that just, op- that just right. opened the floodgates. Yeah, if it was right. Negroes, they wouldn't right. have, they'd, it, they'd have been they fine. Investigate right. that. Go to um, um, Luke 22 and 23. Go back into what um, the captain is, is going into for as righteous judges. You know, it's definitely you need righteous judgment. That's right. And the things that we set up against, you already know that this this whole system, criminal justice, administration of justice is defiled and destroyed. Yes, only way you're going to fix it is by turning it down and restarting all over again. That's the only way. Right. Because it's too many corrupt people in office. That's right. And they have, they have major positions. Right. Only thing you see is a couple of branches get cut off. You don't see the tree get cut at all. Right. You got to cut that tree down. You got you to gotta pull it from the roots up and then plant again. That's, That's right. the only way you're going to fix it or rebuild it. But you just see branches and leaves get cut off. No, that's the same thing uh, Deacon was going to uh, on Patient Saint from the root. You know what I'm saying? Like they take the man out the household, so on and so forth. 
the root of this is the eugenics tree. You know what I'm saying? The root of right. it is Esau is in power and right. his hands is in everything. Like the bishop brought out the thing with the, uh, mm -hmm. I forget what you call it, but with the WB and all these different right. networks and so right. on and so forth. How they all play a they part all with play each a other. Part. They all connect it. You know what I'm saying? One big puzzle that's connected. Mm -hmm. All praises. That's on point. Read on. Which verse cap? 25. 22 and 25? Yes. The book of Luke, chapter 22, verse 25. And he said unto them, the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them. And they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. Mm -hmm. But ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger. And he that is chief as he that doth serve. Right. So the when you at when you at the bottom as a servant, you post a you post a honor them and esteem them that labor before you. That's that your mindset as a as a young person. Reverence those who've been doing it and those who've been um have experience and those who accomplish things. As a young man, you post esteem them. Meaning and they that, have a, a experience and 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 uh what's the word I'm looking for? Seniority. Basically. Right, right. They had that seniority. So, and, and when you get that seniority, you work. You took your time. You honor those, and you went through the ranks. And you now you that man, that leader, that that great person that they supposed to reverence. And you supposed to be mindful of the young people. Go, you got some sacred right. up. No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll wait till you finish. And and it's showing you how that we the, the people at the bottom supposed to look at the top and how the top supposed to look at the bottom right. and but the the gentiles is telling you how to, the mindset of the gentiles the mindset that you're in th that we are living in right now the conditions who told you to be mean to your servants who told you to disrespect them who right. told you not to care and they nothing they just employees you can you can fire them and get another one the next day who told you that was right but that's the confusion that you live in. So that's the attributes that our people pick up when they become in power. Right. And now they say, you know what? This is how I was taught and this is how I was abused. And I guess this is how you maintain authority. This is how you maintain power. But God is telling you right here through Christ saying that is not how you're supposed to do things. That is not how you're supposed to conduct yourself. You're not supposed to be mean or, or frantic to your servants. Right. You're not supposed to make them feel less than because a lot of times an uh, individual like the, they um, um, they um, the, the leadership went over in patient saints is that a lot of they was giving the showing a clip where the, the brother was dropping off in a neighborhood doing a delivery and how the eat might just blocked him and disrespected him. Right. And our sisters don't understand. That's what we have to go home to. Right. I mean, we have to go home with that pain to where we go in the world, we feel less than a man. And then, and then when I get home, the wife that I supposed to be her Lord and she supposed to be my help me, right. help me build and help me to rejuvenate. And she's doing the same thing, the same. She attacking me the same way right. I was attacked in the world. Right. So now I feel like the whole world is against me. Right. Either the man shut down or he just don't want to come home. Right. That's right. Yeah, where's the comfort? Where's the rest? Right. Where's the rebuilding? Right. Basically. If if you go out into the world uh one hundred percent and then when you get back home, the world beats you down so much you go back home forty percent and you get rejuvenated to hundred percent and right. do it all over again right. and come back home forty percent. That's right. But just imagine if your wife beats you up before you leave home and Damn. you leave home at forty percent. Damn. And then you come back home, you damn was stressed out. Yeah, you got, you done. you went you went to work with a head full of black hair. Right. Now you come back home with a head full of gray hair. Yeah. Like, what do I turn to? What do I do? And in the, the trucking, they always say, when I was in training, like, don't bring your problems to work because you, oh, yeah. you all those things is on your mind, on your brain. Right. That that has your your uh, attention. You know what I'm saying? That's where your focus is. I'm arguing with the wife at home. This, that, and the third. And now you on that road. You you got to be focused. You in a constant. You you in a constant battle. Right. You in a constant battle. You, you War up. every day. You screwed up. Right. Read that again. You got some sacred up? No, yeah, I'm going to wait till you, no, okay. you finish. Go ahead. Finish. Verse 26. Read for 25. Verse 25. Luke 22 and 25. And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. What is benefactor? Let me, let me look it up. Benefact a person who gives money or other helps to a person or cause. So, the kings, Gentiles, exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. That's my boss. 
Right. That's my supervisor. That pays. He pays me. And a lot of supervisors know that you have nowhere to go, and that's why they mistreat you the way they right. do. That's right. That's right. And God say we not supposed to move like that. That's right. Because they always talking about bullying in the elementary, in in high school, in middle right, school. Right, right. But a lot of people get bullied at work. The police right. bully you. Right. Where you going, boy? That's against your free will. Right. Every man had a free will. That's how you know that the Constitution was never made for you. You never had the Declaration right, of Independence. Right. Because they're not supposed to do those things. They do those things to provoke you. Right, they do things much. They do things like that to agitate you. Because it's in their power to do so. All this thing is a system. And they give each other books on how to control, how to uh, um, uh, oppress you. Mm -hmm. To make your life a living hell. That's, that's the things that they do. But right. the Bible's telling us that we are not supposed to rule like that. And a lot of right. times, brothers get in these, they rush to get in these positions and they see how they ball treat them and they've been conditioned like that. Right. And then they get in the, they, they take them same attributes that they got from the world and come in this truth and do the same thing. Right. But the Bible say, don't do that. Read on. Verse 26. But ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you. Let him be as the younger, and he that is chief as he that doth serve. When you have power, when you come to authority, you're supposed to know how to exercise that authority right. because you went through the proper training, the academy, and all these type of things to understand what you are. A police officer is a peace officer. He's supposed to create peace right he supposed to find peace he supposed right. to be the level head one right. he the one supposed to calm down both parties exactly that Not, don't happen that doesn't happen so that's why to whom much is given is much is required when you start to give this give this get this power of a badge in the gun mm -hmm. you're not supposed to be carnal Go ahead, Christ. I know you got to bring out. Go ahead. I would. I want you to bring it out. All right, Cap. 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 I'm sitting here listening to what y'all are bringing out, and what you're saying is true. But here's the thing that Israel doesn't realize: when you go into the system that's already set up, you're going into a system that's set up to see you fail from the beginning. Right. Real quick, I want to get this precept: wisdom of Solomon, because I'm going to show you this system. That the other nations have set up. Remember, all the other nations are in crafty council. Right. To where they want to do what? They want to eradicate us from off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. So even though our people get these positions, get the badges, get the prestige, gets the power, understand they're going into a system where they're being implemented to be a tool used against their own people. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, start at verse 10. Let's look at this yes, system sir. that has been set up by all these other nations. Because we're, we're quick to say, yes, we want to go do this to go help our people. We want to be involved with this. And then you get in there and you go back and you talk to your friends. You right. talk to your, your co And they say, well, you know what? Change it from the inside. Change it from the inside. Right. No, you can't change this system from the yeah, inside. Right. What you don't have the power. Right. The scripture says what? The the, the 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 wicked seduces the righteous. Right. You understand? So real quick. Wisdom of Solomon chapter two start at verse ten. The book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter two and verse ten. Let's let's look at this system that has been established on the face of this earth. This thing is designed to oppress you twenty four seven, every which way you turn. Read. Let us oppress the poor, righteous man. Let us oppress. It didn't say raise up, it didn't say support. It said, let us oppress the poor righteous man. Read. Let us not spare the widow. Notice, the widows are not even to be spared in this system that has been set up for our people to fail in. Right. Read. Nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. It said, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. That's why you see the brutality on the young and the old. Right. From 10-year-old boys to 50, 60 year old men getting shot in the back eight times. Well, right. well it's it's been an example. Yes. It's been an example just in, in this week. Yes, well, well yes, old woman got just yes, slammed sir. to the ground. Yes, sir. 90 year old exactly. woman. You yeah. know, in, in the young, you see how they had the young man just on at gunpoint? Mm -hmm. Just just like he got yeah, his hands up. up. Like, over a rolling stop. 
It's yeah. just like, hey, I don't got nothing. It's like, what you want me to do? He, he, he was just, he was frightened. You got he was like, I got phone? my head up, I got my hand down, I lay down, get up. What you want me to do? Want me to do the Macarena or the YMCA up in this month? Right. You had four, five cops, or however many it was, with guns drawn on this man with his hands up. A young man. He's, it, a it, he's a young man. He don't know. He just seen all the shooting of Mike Brown and what's happening in Georgia. Right. And all these, the, the brother got shot down in the car. It's right. like, man, I'm a... I don't know what to do. Right. I don't know what to do. I don't want because they got guns drawn on me right. and my hands are up and the guns are still drawn. Hey, right. Cap, and this the is confusion this. comes is the people are saying, why are you black people acting like that? Because you shooting us in the street. That's why we right. acting like that. Right. If I go into... Right, exactly. What do you think? I'm going to stand there and let a dog charge me because it's, it's a dog and it's supposed to be loving and cuddling? No. I know that dog is going to attack me. Same way with how you treat me. I know your history with me is a history of violence. Exactly. So then exactly. what do you expect me? You expect me to stand there and just let you just beat the crap? Out of me. But what you're you know saying, what I'm saying still with his hands up, what what makes you want to come with that type of force? Because right. that's nothing to de-escalate. Right. My hands are up. Right, exactly. Well, again, this I'm in a, I'm in a surrender motion. Right, I, I'm surrendering. It I'm giving matter. up. It doesn't matter. It's not set up for you. Right. Uh, we yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We know whether you come with your hands up or your hands down. The basic understanding is we are going to oppress you. Matter of fact, read the next verse. Read verse 11. Yes, sir. Here's verse 11. For you right here. Let our strength be the law of justice. Notice it said let our strength be the law of justice. So if I have the power, if I got the strength, like the scripture said, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, I'm going to use my wicked strength to oppress you to where you have no option. Right. I don't care if your hands are up. I don't care if your hands are down. I don't care if the video is being recorded. I got the power to turn it off. Do you understand? This system has been set up for your, your presence problem. is a threat. Exactly. <laughs> because I, when it, what it all boils down to, I know who you are. Right. And I have a perpetual hatred against you. Right. So I'm going to set up my kingdom to oppress you. They because lost. What? Your rise equals my demise. Right. You understand? Uh, mm -hmm. So so in the in the devil's world, mm. it God's chosen people are going to be the evil and the wicked that the Bible speaks of. That the Bible right. Speaks right. And so right. when Christ come, the Esau is going to be returned back to his rightful that light position. Shine right. On it. Right. And right. the exactly. evil, wicked, the border of it. Right. Exactly. Right. So so right now, in this particular state that we're in, you're in a system that is designed to eradicate you from the face of the earth. Right. Right. You're in a system that's designed to turn the world upside down right. so that that's right. even though you are the righteous and you're keeping God's laws, in my eyes, you are the wicked. Right. right. Because you are what? Your ways will destroy my ways. Right. right. Okay. Finish off verse 11. Yes, sir. Can I bring a precept after that, too? Yes, Abraham. Verse 11. Mm -hmm. Let our strength be the law of justice. So the wicked say, let their strength be the law of justice. Read. For that which is feeble is mm -hmm. found to be nothing worth. Because that was in their eyes, that's feeble, is found to be worth nothing right. to them. Right. right. It's worth nothing to them. You want me to keep on? No, no, no. Don't go. I, I just <laughs> want to bring that point out so we get an uh, understanding of right. the right, system right. that we're talking about right. as yes. far as being oppressed and under the authorities. No matter how you look at it, whether it be on the police, whether right. it be in politics, right. whether right. it be in school, it's still right. that same uh, system. Right. System. Right. Yes, sir. Not our system. Hey, officer, yeah. let me pull this one preacher real quick. Go to Psalm 94 and 20. And I want to get to these videos, too, because, you know. This is going to help instantiate, uh, substantiate, rather, our uh, case, basically. This Esau, this this case so big against Esau, his mm -hmm. rap sheet, <laughs> yes, rap around the earth, I don't know how many times. <laughs> hey, no, no, let's use biblical term. <laughs> it reached all the way to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. The That's book right. of Psalms, chapter 94, and verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? It says, shall the throne of iniquity. The throne of iniquity is, is this system set up. America, this kingdom, that's not God's kingdom. That's not judging in righteousness. Right. It's judging in opposition of us. All right. 
It says, which frames mischief, mischief. The definition of mischief, a cause or source of harm, evil, or annoyance. So they frame it harm by law. Right. They frame it evil by, by law. law. They frame it annoyance by, by law. law. Because you got to bend over backwards to, it, why do you have to explain yourself and you're not doing nothing? Right. You're not breaking any laws per se that they have set up. Right. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But it does because we understand most I did this for our benefit. Right. All right. So we can wake up. So we can repent. All right. Uh, Ozila, what you got? Yes, sir. I'm going to read it real quick, Cap. Uh, Habakkuk chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, they are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. So we know they go back to Deuteronomy 28, 49 through 50. Then back to what Officer Karatazai and what you just brought out, right. they frame mischief by the law. They come with their own laws, right. just like they did in Northern Kingdom. They just made up stuff on the fly and, you know, just killed them at whim. Right. And then when you go to verse 9, it says, they shall come all for violence. Right. Their faces shall sup up as the east wind, and they shall gather together the captivity as the sand. And they shall scoff at the kings, and the princes shall be a scorner to them. Basically going back to covering the faces of the judges thereof. Right, they right. had no respect for us. That's right. We used to be the kings of the earth. Right. In their mind, oh. you know, we used to. You ain't no more. Right. Yeah. So sit in the dust, Negro. That's right. We ruling now. Exactly. Yes, sir. Can I, um, I have. Mm. Bring it I, out, yeah. Bring it out. A couple of precepts. I go to Genesis 2 and 11 and give it back to the captain. I know you got some videos you want to play. Got you know, because yeah, that's it. That's it. Because our people are vision. They need visual. They need illustrations. Right. right. They need things that's tangible that they can see to believe because right. if we just speak in the Bible, it's it's a once again, it's a fairy tale book right. to some of our people. So you got to bring it to today to make it make sense so they can understand the the uh, the the level of threat that they're in right now. That's right. Um, to show you that when we read the scriptures, the Bible said ain't nothing new under the sun. Right. right. But our people think what they're going through is something new. Right. You don't understand why the uh, when you read Revelations uh, eleven, it tells you that this is the spirit of Egypt. Because some of the sim some of the same things that happened in Egypt is is parallel to what's happening today. Right. And when we read this, when we read our history, which is, is your history books, you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, this is your history book. This is a book of record of remembrance. This is the chronicles of your life. Right. This is a timeline from back then to where you at right now. And a lot of times we don't understand that. We don't believe that because we don't see ourselves in it. You just don't. You just never had a teacher to show you. You never just had the spirit of the Most High to wake you up and to deliver this message to you. And that's what we are trying to do. We're not doing this for an ego trip. We're not doing this to shame you. We're doing this to wake you up. We're not doing this because we're mad and talking about let's retaliate against Esau and right. let's go kill and we're a hate group. No, we we talking about Esau, the judgment. We're not hating Esau. We're saying it's a judgment. That's, that's pending from him for the things that he done. Just like the prophets Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, um, Zechariah, they all, and Moses, Christ, all of them spoke about Israel, that the, the idolatry, the sin that we are right. in, that if you continue that, this is what's going to happen to you. Right. You're going to go into captivity. You're going to serve a nation that you know not. They're going to be swift as an eagle. They're not going to have no pity for the old or the young. And they're gonna and they gonna take up everything that you do that you that you consider gain to get yourself out of that situation. No, your gain is gonna be someone else's gain. And you're gonna be at the bottom and they're gonna be at the top. That's judgment. That's what we are reading. That's what Deuteronomy 28 is about. That's right. It's called cursing. God is cursing you out. He said, This is what's gonna happen to you. You're gonna go on slave ship on boats. I mean, you're gonna go in captivity on slave ships. You're going to have you're going to be sold on auction blocks. All that's in the Bible. But you never read it like that because you just say God love everybody. And that's your only claim to salvation. Right. Just the words. Or, or they go every Sunday and they hear that parakeet say the same thing over and over. Today is your seed. Right. And just give 10. Just give and God going to bless you tenfold. Right. 
you know, and tithe. That's not even in, the way he's breaking it down and giving it to you not in the Bible. And then the tithing was to the priest, right. the Levi. Your pastor not no Levi. He don't even know who he is. He think he's African American. For uh, um right. from, from, from 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 Mississippi or somewhere. <laughs> but let's just read to show you how the Bible correlates to where once we understand who we are, then we can we can um uh um uh, how I wanna say offset the confusion that we're in for right. bru police brutality. That's police right. brutality is in the Bible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that we gotta set the balance to everything. And it's 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 all to show you these things with via the video, the scriptures we're pulling to show you the mindset that the most high doing these things. Right. right. To do what? To wake you up. To right. get your mind oppressed so you can be pissed off to wake up. To see right. what now other resolutions besides marching and all this other stuff, voting and so on and so forth that ain't did nothing to something that's spiritual that is going to come to pass. Well, like you're saying, Cal, it's to, it's to give that shock to wake you up. Because our people right. are living, they're living fairy tales, they're living in dreams, and they're not looking at the harsh reality right. that has been set before us. So this here is set up to do what? To make you think, to wake up, open your eyes, and see what is going on in front of you that you have been numb to for generation after generation after generation. Right. You just bumping your head against the wall. You just bump your head against the wall here, there, everywhere. You go to everywhere, every solution except the Bible. And that's how Esau that's know right. he done his job. They that's, right. that's insanity, bro. <laughs> you do the same thing and expect a different outcome. That's right. insanity. Our people, our people are insane. No real solutions. In the membrane. Just imagine you've been, you been marching and protesting and, and picketing and everything, voting, since you got here and you in the same condition right so therefore obviously no matter who you put in office because right. they was shooting you down when obama was in office right mm -hmm. it was crazy when well, obama was in more the, yeah. when obama was in to office. show you that it don't that, mean nothing because you got a black president nothing. let me show you something on how you're supposed to see things and how the history of when you in the captivity how your oppressor look at you right. when you understand how your oppressor really truly look at you then you know how to conduct yourself but you think your oppressor love you no he right. don't that's why i say this is the this right here what you in right now is spiritual egypt let's go to spiritual let's go to the real egypt to show you why this place is spiritual egypt to show you that they have the same characteristics as those egyptians right that had you, that you was in captivity under. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Eleven. Two and eleven. Genesis two and eleven. Yes. This is the book of Genesis, chapter two and verse eleven. The name of the first two, is Exodus two and eleven. Two and eleven. Oh, said Genesis. Yes, sir. Exodus two. Genesis cap. I'm sorry. Exodus yes, two and eleven. The book of Exodus, chapter two and verse eleven. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown that he went out unto his brethren and looked on their burdens and he spied an Egyptian smiting an Hebrew, one of his brethren. Wait, and now Moses is called the grandson of Pharaoh. So he's living this lavish life, but he know that he's a, he's a Hebrew. He know who his brother is. He know who his brothers are. You know, because they got records, they study and all these type of things. They have mm -hmm. education. They, people just think people was just dumb back then. Bring it out. They didn't have no record, no memory, no anything. Like, you, right, right. like all, only today you got, you know what I mean, um, learning institutions. Right. right. So they had learning, they had learning institutions. He knew that he was a Hebrew. He knew that. So that's why it said he went to Al and his brother and, and looked on their burdens. One thing it shows you, he never lost who his brothers was. He never, he never looked down on them. They never became his enemy. Right. He didn't right. say, "I'm gonna peer y'all down there, get away from me." Right. right. How y'all superstars treat y'all? How y'all elect officials treat y'all? Right. Only time they respect y'all when they want y'all vote. Right. Only time a, a, a rapper want to show y'all some some type of humanity and respect when they trying to get you to buy the album. Right. Right. 
Or they trying to get you to watch their movie or something. That's the only time when they sh- they treat you like a brother. We supposed to be brother. We gotta support one another. Right, right. Sale tactic. Right, right. Exactly. But right. right here, Moses never forgot who his brother was, and he never looked down on their burden, and never laughed at them, never mocked them, right. called them window shoppers. Right. Y'all can't afford them. I can I can buy your wife. That's the evil that our people do when they get money. That's right. That ain't loving your people when you say things like that. You right. become a worse enemy to your right. people. Bring it up. That's what Moses said. I want to go down there and connect with my people. Right. I want to go down there and feel their pain. Right. I don't want to go down there and stun on my people, and then you wonder why you get robbed. Right, right, right. right. Bring it up. Then you right. wonder why you go in the neighborhood and get robbed. First of all, you go, you go back in, into a neighborhood where it's, it's, it's Dry and broke and dusty and people looking for hope and starving. Right. You go in there with with, with, a, with, a, Bentley. A, with a Bentley with two hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry on and sitting in your car and just acting like you're the king, Don, right. and be like, "Hey, do this for me." What? You gonna come down here and stun on us? But then you, I seen you on TV when you was at that charity golf event. You had T-shirts, jogging pants on, and, and some um some old Air Force Ones ready to get dirty. Bring it out, right? But when you come back home to your people, you wanna act like you wanna stun on your people. Right. You wanna act like you the king, you the lord over them. Right. right. You're not looking on their burden. Right. Bring it out. That's what saying Moses is doing right here. Right. He put ev- all that 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 prestige. prestige right, there you go. Right. That glory. He put it to the side for his people. He said, "I want to feel that because sometimes you got to go back and understand the pain right. to help you to remember what what what's your purpose on this earth." Right. That's right. Go back to the ghettos. Go back to the hoods. Go back to the slums. Go back to where you was brought up from. And just have a, a casual com- a conversation to them. Win them over. Right. Because the people are going to know that you know you don't have to do that. That's right. right. They know you don't have to do that. You're risking your life. Right. If you if you so real, Cap. Right. If you so real. Right. You're being real fake. Yeah, right. but you right. know what they do instead? They go to the hospitals and see the Edomite kids and take pictures with them and do fundraising or whatever it is for other, you know, right. charities oh, wow. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Ain't got nothing to do with where they came from. Right. And then when they want to get food back. To the um to the to the um to, to the community, what they have, they have their representative, mm-hmm. right, right, a person right. that's associated with their fund, um, um their foundation. Right. No, the people need to see you. Right. That's right. They need to see you. They need to connect to you. This is what Moses did. Moses, said, I went there. Right. right. And felt their burdens because it's going to change everything. It's going to be a connection there. That's right. That's right. That nobody can give you but you. Right. Because guess what. You've been in that community, that's what gave you the drive to get up get up out of there. Right. Mm. Pretty much. That 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 uh um that gated community didn't give you the drive to where you at. Right. You know why they didn't give you the drive? Look at your children. They lazy, they don't want to work, and they in all type of amount of evil. Mm. That's why. Now your child got, you know what I mean, looking like he punk rock. Now now he dealing with a subtle my spirit. Now he blonde his hair out. Now he said, I'm confused, I'm lost, I don't know who I am. Right. Yeah, because right. that gated community didn't make you who you were. That right, ghetto right. made you who you were. That's right. Your affliction, and that's how the most I sought you, right. sought you out, and build you up and gave you that drive. And that's what Moses is saying right here. Go ahead, read it again. Exodus chapter 2 and verse 11. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown, grown, Go that ahead. he went out unto his brethren and looked up. On their burdens, and he spied an Egyptian smiting on the Hebrew, one of his brethren. So he's looking now. Just imagine Moses just rolling and just looking, just looking at the condition of his people. He just watching. It's like, man, we jacked up. What can I do? How can I help my people? How can I get them out of this condition? They lost. They beat each other up. They they fighting, and they don't understand the the the, the trick bag that they was put in. And as he's looking at his people being destroyed, he see an Egyptian spiting a Hebrew, his brother, wrong, wrongfully beating them, putting hands on them. Where you going? Put your hands up. Why are you in this community? Right. Oppressing his people. Right. That's what Moses raised up and looked. He already looking at the, the 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 messed up condition that our people in, right? And on, on top of that, 
that burden that he see, he see a, a Egyptian beating his brother, right. a taskmaster, somebody supposed to police the Hebrews. Right. Bring it out. You need just need a badge. You need the authority to do so. And the whip, the whip was the gun. Right. A stick, whatever it may be, can be right. the gun. Citizens arrest. Right, beating, beating his brother. Get, go ahead. He didn't turn the other cheek. And guess what? You're not going to see the uh, the police brutality. You're not going to see the harsh condition that your people are in because you're not there no more. That's right. right. And then now you have a mindset that God loves everybody. We all want people. Right. We're going to overcome this together. Who? What you mean, we? Right. We're the only one going through it. Right. What you mean? Are Esau going to overcome it together? You done moved on. You done moved on. Right. You just rolled past the hood. Right. You know what I mean? Just, right. just roll past it. Like Floyd no. Mayweather with the table and all uh, all the money time, but look at all these monies. Look, look at all these monies I got. Go ahead. Verse twelve. And he looked this way and that way, and when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. That's the Moses that you read about. Bring it That's out. the Moses that you know that you say he's the most meekest man on the face of the earth. Bring it out. That's what make you meek. That's what make you special. Because you stand up for righteousness, you don't you don't you don't turn your you don't turn a blind eye to wrong, you don't turn a blind eye to evil. Right. That's supposed to That's move right. you. That's right. Like when you, I heard, I seen Michael Jordan on the last dance. How he would just say that I'm not a politician. Who told you giving police brutality? You are supposed to be a politician to say that's wrong. Exactly. So you you have more of a voice. You know, use your voice. That's what you in that position for. Right, because our people get in these positions, they scared to lose that. Right. The more the more the endorsement deals. And that's what Dave Chappelle was supposed to be a good example to all these celebrities. He didn't want to continue to uh, um to be bring a bad example on right. his people through his skits. He said, Hey man, I'm not helping my people. I'm I'm really, you know what I mean, um underlining, you know what I mean, um been a part of this racial right. system, right. this racial the, the, right. the stereotype. Make yeah. make fun of them, laugh at them, make, make fun of them, joke on them, show them this, and not nothing that's uplifting. Right? You know what? I don't want the money. Went through years of backlash, had to sit down, meditate, recover himself, get I, you know, what I mean, help build his confidence back up mm -hmm. to say, man, I I know I'm, I did I do the right thing? It's self doubt, all these type of things that that goes to your mind, right. and guess what? He came back years later, and now he got the um the the, the Netflix comedy special where he made way more money. They gonna give him long long time ago. You, it's called a sacrifice. Right, right. I, you don't know how to sacrifice. Stand up, okay. You probably lose your job. You probably lose your house. But guess what? If you believe in the Most High, He gonna give you something better. Right. That's why you read the story of Job. Right. Read on. So he killed. He seen that what the Egyptian was doing to his people. And that's what he done. He looked look left, look right, and he slew him. He put him to death. Go ahead. Verse 13. And when he went out the second day, behold, two men of the Hebrews strove together. And he said to them, to him that did the wrong, wherefore smitest thou thy fellow? You see that? That means he, he didn't leave. He's still there. Mm -hmm. He still there watched the burden and say, you know what? Let me try to bring some um some peace amongst the people. Mm. Hopefully they can see the sacrifice I just made. Right. And knowing that I'm here for y'all. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, he's saying, now that's gonna give you another foe or why celebrities don't help our people. Right. This is another this is this a, a flip side of that coin why celebrities and superstars and those who are in them them, them prestige positions don't help our people. Right here through the our, some of our people are ignorant. So Moses is risking every done risk everything by going back to the community and watching and seeing the burden and connecting to it and, and um making a tough decision. Right. And and he said he seen two the second day, the second day. He's there for a whole for two days. So it said the second day he saw two men, two Hebrews, they were scuffling, beating each other, blood touching blood, hating one another in a scuffle. And he's trying to separate them and say, hey, man, y'all brothers, why y'all beating each other up like that? Right. Why y'all coming at each other like that? Y'all fighting each other like heathens. You're supposed to love your brother. 
Go ahead. Verse 14. And he said, Who made thee a prince? Now read that last verse. It's thrown together. And he said to him, Behold, verse, two verse men 10. of the Hebrews strove together. And he said to him that did the wrong, Wherefore smitest thou thy fellow? Why are you beating your brother up? Go ahead. And he said, Who made thee a prince and a judge over us? Intendest thou to kill me as thou killest the Egyptian? And Moses feared and said, Surely this thing is known. You see that? After he tried to help them, <coughs> he, he, he was a judge, you know what I mean? Uh, um, yeah, he was. He was judge, executing all that. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. And he killed the Egyptian. Who's who's taking care of him? The Egyptians. Right. And he killed the Egyptian for his brother. And when he killed the Egyptian for his brother, he see right now that dang man, no matter what I do, they're not gonna listen. Right. right. And you know why? Because they're in a destroyed mindset. Right. Slavery is a mindset. Right. So they are destroyed to where they don't understand that this man is trying to bring solidarity amongst right. the people. Right. And you got a knucklehead that wanna just fight and lust to just brawl and say, Who made you the king? Who made you a prince? You know what else you made me see in that cap? Another thing, they ain't even have his back for the just that he did. All right, wow. he's doing the wrong. I killed him. Then, oh well, who made you can instead of hey, bro? This thing is being known. Let's you know hide you out and wow. share this with, right. with us. What you got? Right, right. You know what? We're gonna try to we're gonna try to cover it up and say somebody else done it. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Instead of you done it, right. you know. But you know how Jake talk? They run their mouth to any and anybody with ears. Real. And they just talking loud with no discretion. Right. And another Egyptian just listened to two Judah, two Judah Hebrews, or they're just talking and saying, "What?" <laughs> Not even being mindful that it's an Egyptian around them. Right. Right. They just talking. Right. Here's another incentive. They could have got a reward for it and say, "Who who killed this Egyptian?" Got a reward for you, and somebody told it. Moses. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Because he because 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 they are because they, they are benefactors. Right. That's where you get paid from. Amen. You know and. Um, read on. Verse 15. Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian. Mm. And he sat down by a well. You see that? That thing got back to my, uh, Pharaoh. Listen to this. Ain't no different from today. Right. When the police is harassing us, beating us up and everything. And once we retaliate, we become the, the, the perpetrators. Right, mm -hmm. you Public did the enemy thing. number one. You did an evil right. thing. We're not the good guys. You create an insurrection, right? But you was just attacked, just like they did the lynch mobs. When they did the lynch mobs, they the the the, the citizens, the citizens went into a police establishment and grabbed the person that didn't have due process, right? He was just alleged that he, it was alleged that he the one that did the crime. Right, right, right. The citizen went into the police precinct right. and grabbed them up and said, "We have a lynch mob tonight." Right. And then they have a lynch mob, and then when the people, our people retaliate, then the army come. Why you right. don't bring the army for the lynch mob? Because they don't want them. Hmm. They want people that look like us. Right. Same thing with the the uh, Aub Aubrey, Aubrey, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the Arby situation, same thing. That was the lynch mob today, right? Dude, he now he prosecuted as well, uh, being held for his his uh, videotaping or whatever, and that that's the that's your modern day lynching, right? No due process, no jail, no. Hey, I see a guy in this house, whatever. Let the police handle it. No, I'm a thought. I was thirty years uh, DA, whatever, foolish, whatever. Mm -hmm. That what gives him the right now. I have citizen arrest. No, you citizen, you killed him. What about the people? What about the little girls and the men that have been kidnapped at right. gunpoint? Right, right. What, what, what would you tell them? They should have fought, kicked, streamed, and everything to, to get free. So how do this man know he's not being kidnapped? Right. You just want him just get in a, in a truck with, with two strangers that he don't know? Right. He's supposed to stop. And answer your question. And the thing is, any um, gun safety or people telling you about how to protect yourself for as, um, how to prevent things from happening, they will tell you the first thing you do not want to do is to get in the vehicle and let somebody transport you somewhere else. Mm -hmm. That's all I have, Cap. Uh, I want to get to the videos. Uh, so.
so let's play the one, the first one, the uh, the, the crash video. We got a lot of little video clips we're going to play. Uh, basically just showing you the different, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Different, uh, different things that go on, different yeah. ways, different examples. That, yeah, <laughs> different hey, uh, examples <laughs> of abuse of power, basically. Right, right. right. Hey, real, real quick on that. Um, if y'all are sensitive to clips, uh, if y'all have, if you don't want your kids having profanity, if you don't want them seeing all seeing things, you might want to have them leave the room now because that particular scene is a very heavy scene. Yeah, it is. And it is, uh, you know, if you hadn't seen that movie Crash, you know, go don't look at it. It's going right. to piss you off. Yeah, it's going to piss you, you off. But, it's uh, like everything going on with us. It should piss you off yeah, to yeah. make you repent. But yeah. So that's, Wait, that, that's your I disclaimer. Think, is I think you should let them see it and you just explain what they're saying. Okay. Huh? Like you said, just disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. disclaimer. Just, just giving you, just giving you, giving you fat one. Yeah. Right. Y'all ready? They ain't ready. Okay. All right. Yeah. Get it. Get it. You know, this whole system that we're talking about, like you say, it's that oppression, that abuse of power. Right. right. Uh, uh, you know, of course police brutality and other things but in this one we're just focusing on right, right, the right. abuse of power on the policing side of right. that what made the net of turners yeah, yeah, yeah what made the net what made the net turners right. what made the dim or um vessies right. exactly exactly and this is this is the same thing that you're seeing in this clip this is the exact same thing that they have just been doing to us generation after generation just all the way back from it, egypt right and it is now we, it's recorded yes that's all we that's have videos thing, yes. we have you know what I'm saying? Like now you have more exposure mm -hmm. to what's going on. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. Back then they had more everything in the dark. Now you have cameras, so on and so forth. And, you know, now everything can be exposed, per mm -hmm. se. Like the most I say, your tongue go fall upon you. Right? I'm butchering it, but you get, what, you get it. His own tongue go fall upon him. Oh, his right. video, his media go fall upon him as well. All right, play, play that. I got it. All right. Got it. It is real bad words. We got some technical yeah, difficulties. <laughs> yeah, that's it right there. All right. Yeah, go yeah, yeah. Get a preset while they're pulling up that video. All right. So uh, we're talking about judgment. Um, go to um, Proverbs 31 and 9. Proverbs 31 and 9. And the mindset behind this precept uh, goes back to what you were saying like about Michael Jordan or what the captain was saying about Michael Jordan how he's in a place to say I'm not a politic right. well when you're in a position to open your mouth and say something let's see what the scripture said about that right. 31 and 9 yes sir this is the book of Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 9 open thy mouth judge righteously and plead the cause of the poor and needy you see that so he's telling you that's that's a right we have. Right. Can, don't we have the right to speak? That's your job. <laughs> exactly. So he told you, hey, what do you think about what's happening to I'm not a politician. What, right. what do you mean? So you're not going to give your opinion? They're asking you. But when somebody say, how do you feel about what happened to your dad? You're going to open your mouth on that. Right, <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> well, do you feel like uh, Chicago, Chicago ain't treat you right? That's why you left and went to the wizard? You open your mouth on that. But when it come to your people, what what what's going on? What's the problem? That they go back to Deuteronomy sixteen and eighteen. Right. He he, he, he let's go back there right quick. Mm. You done with that? Officer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, go back there right quick because this it just it follows the line with the scriptures on that gift. Mm -hmm. You know that the things that he have that the the him not out the hood so on and so forth. Now he can't open his mouth to say nothing right now because mm. all these things gonna be taken away from him. Read uh, 19. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not rest judgment. 
Thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift. For a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. That's exactly what also Michael just pulled. It said, for a, for a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise. I ain't seen nothing happen. Mm -hmm. I don't see my people getting treated like this. I don't see my people getting shot down in the street. Right. I don't see my people being mistreated by the police. You choose not to make a comment on it. Right. So you choose you, not to see it. Right. That's the point. But you still want the support of the people. Right. That's that's correct. It don't. It, none of that makes sense. You want the support of the people. Right. But you're not helping represent the people. What the heck? It, boy? You, you don't want to. You want the people to support you, but you right. don't want to support the people. Exactly. Right. And that's exactly. and that goes with a lot of our black businesses. They want They right, want right, black right, support, right. but they don't want to support the black community, right. the so-called black community. Right. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that's just the, the, the way our people operate. Right. You know, and they just trying. They just trying to overall take advantage of the poor and and rule like the Gentiles rule, all yeah. about deception. Right. And mis and misleading. Y'all got it. Y'all ready? No, they still working on it, Kay. Hey, real quick. Um, Let's grab one. Leviticus 26, 15. Okay. Because this is what it's, it's going back to. You know, we always say we can always go back and trace everything that we're going through back to the curses. Okay. And here's what it goes into in a nutshell. Because what? Because we despise lawful judgment. Right. Because we despise having to take care of our people and look after our own people. We want to do the ways of, of, of the heathens, of the other nations. Right. Throughout that, become a burden. Yeah, right? yeah, it became a burden to us. You know, we were hard-headed, stubborn, rebellious. On. So let's see what the Most High said concerning that issue as far as dealing with our people with just judgment when we are in those positions of power. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26 and verse 15. Mm -hmm. And if ye shall despise my statutes, mm -hmm. or if your soul abhor my judgments. So the Most High says, I gave you a set of law, statutes, and commandments, statutes and judgments that you should live and judge by justly. But if you despise those ways, read. So that ye will not do all my commandments. So that you end up not following what I gave you to do. Read. But that ye break my covenant and that you break my covenant i also will do this unto you what will the most high do to us i will even appoint over you terror i will appoint over you what terror terror that's what you're looking at now terror police brutality being shot down in the streets is what terror your life is hanging in balance you don't know if you're gonna make it home this evening right you don't know if you're gonna make it to work the next morning right. why because your life hangs in balance right the lights come on behind you while you're on the, on the freeway so scared and, and, and your life flashes your, before your, your heart, eyes. Your heart stops. Because you don't know if this is your last final moments on this earth or not in this flesh. Also, you got everything in line. You exactly. Your, your license, your insurance, everything up to date. Your, mm -hmm. your registration, but you scared as hell. Exactly, exactly. Because what terror has been a, 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 a appointed over you. Over wanted, you. Right. Okay. You make sure you have, like like you say with those police stops, you make sure you have everything in line. You try not to move too fast. Right, you right, try right. not to talk Certain too loud. That's right. Yeah, because what? You already know the end result if you decide to try to go off. Right. right. Keep your hands on yeah, the steering keep wheel. Your hands on, yeah, exactly. Keep right. your hands on the steering wheel. Do what I tell you to do. Now, mind you, right. that's in a system that's not set up for you. That's right. You understand? It's like playing Simon Says. Right. But it's, it's, it's real life. Simon Said, place your ID on top of the window and put your hand on the back of your head. Right. Now, turn to the left. Wait, I didn't say Simon said it. Pop out. <laughs> Simon didn't say it. <laughs> Pop out. <laughs> you Damn, understand? You mess with Simon. Yeah, it's just a serious game of Simon said. It's not right. set up for you right. to win. Keep Continue on on that. Consumption and the burning og mm -hmm. that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. Consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart, meaning what? You're going to see sorrow in everything that you're doing. That's when right. When you turn on the news, you're looking at your own people, the same people that look like you, every day being shot down. Right. Every day in the news to the point of where you have gotten numb to it. Right. Officer. I people say, you know what? They said it on the news. They, this big monster. They shit on the news. God, that's messed up. Well, I got business with them tomorrow. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of California. Right. Next game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey y'all! Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Say it again. Yeah, say it again. Say it again. So it just shows you the mindset that our people that our people have. 
you know, to where when they get they see their brothers get shot down the street, they say, "Oh, <laughs> I gotta fly to California tomorrow to close a deal. I got a big movie role, you know, to, to uh, um, that I have to uh, audition for." These are the things that our people are easily being distracted while their people are getting done gunned down in exactly. the street. You know how bad it is now, Cap. Your cousin gets shot down in the street. You mourn for a day or two. And then right after the morning, what do our people do? Oh, it's time for the after party. Yeah. Then it goes right back to a normal life. It's that vicious right. cycle that we're in. This is or, the same thing we see with the Arby's, this, that, and walking from two point whatever miles. It's the same thing. And then you know, two, three, maybe a month later. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Hey, Cap. Hey, Cap. No, they're still working on it. No, they're still working on it. Hey, Cap. Bless their heart. <laughs> hey, Cap, while, while they're getting the article, uh, the same thing that Captain brought out with the Exodus 2, is the same thing that's been happening recently because the whole Ahmad Aubrey, the whole Ahmad Aubrey thing that's been going on in the news on top of on top of the brother that was shot in Michigan, that just got pushed to the back. The Calvin Moonerland Moon, that was shot at the, he was a security guard right, right, right. working at uh, Family that. Dollar, right. and he told his sister, "You got to put on a mask when you come in here and shop." She got mad. Spit at him, went home, got her husband and, and son. Came the son, him. they came back. She felt disrespected, so the son shot him in the head as a fight ensued. Right. The family tried to cover up everything. The wife was, she was, she was taken into custody. The family tried to cover up everything. The daughter was, was part of it. Come to find out, they brought the brother, the brother and some other people and the son, the father, they was all the way down here in Houston. In a Baytown, and they didn't put him up in a in a hotel. Got him new clothes and everything. But when it come to so they're uh, harboring a the fugitive. That what you saying? Exactly, mm -hmm. they're harbor a fugitive, just like with Moses. You see Egyptians smiting a Hebrew. Oh, that that's wrong. That's wrong. But then we smite each other. Who you telling us? Why y'all always gotta say that? Y'all make it look bad when y'all say we kill each other. Mm. That's crazy. Oh, right. Okay. What's that uh, they got on the screen there? I don't want can they see that? No, they can't see that. They're still looking at us, right? Okay. Okay. I don't. I just just read the art. Is that's that's what is it? Yeah, it's Fire Heights, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Fire My House. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't can't see it from here. Y'all gonna have to yeah, expand yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. We can't read that from here. Which one is it? That's it's the Fire uh, My Oh, Heights. you can't read. Yeah, see if you can pull it up. Uh, can you play the video? The video, bro. Oh, they seeing that though now. But are they gonna see the video? Hmm. Okay. All right. Go back to Leviticus twenty-six and seven, uh, sixteen. Yes. Sir. Oh, yes, you got it? Okay, okay. Um, it's Fairmont Heights officer accused of raping woman, possibly exposing her to HIV. A Fairmont Heights police department officer is accused of raping, of raping a woman he pulled over and exposing her to HIV. Martique Vanderpool was indicted Tuesday on new charges for allegedly raping a woman in Capitol Heights, Maryland, on September the 6th. He was initially charged in December. On Wednesday, Prince George's County police and prosecutors said Vanderpool is HIV positive and that he now faces a criminal charge for exposing or attempting to expose the alleged victim to the virus.
come there. Don't you, do you not think that this has been going on for, this stuff has been going on for a long time? Again, it's just now that these things come into light because we have, you know, uh, the platform to bring these things to light. All right? And the most high is holy at the end of the day. But this is Black Jake doing this. So he not only raped the sister, but he actually also uh, infected her with a virus, a plague. <laughs> You you know what you you know what um vex my spirit because it goes back to what we read in Luke twenty two rule not like the Gentiles rule and a lot of times Gentiles the the Gentiles and the heathens know which is the other nation which is AKA the so called white man which is Esau they know that you have no power they know that you have no support. They know that you have nobody that's going to fight for you and stand up for justice because all your people don't want police there anyway. Right. They want the hood to stay. They want the ghettos in the inner cities to stay in chaos. They want the gang bangers to rule. They want the drug dealers to rule. So everybody know that we have nobody to support and stand up and fight for our cause. So and that's what Esau know. And guess what? A lot of our people join the force. The, the ones that been there like 15, 20 years, they say, you know what? We're gonna do the same thing. Now I'm gonna do. Now I'm a, I'm gonna get my rocks off to you know and take advantage and rape and rob and whatever they want to do mm. to their own people because they know nobody. They have nobody to support for them right. to mm -hmm. support and fight for them. Right. Nobody's gonna come and stand up on her behalf because right. he's a policeman. Right. He has that cloak of that badge right. to cover. Him. Right, mm -hmm. and and they know I, the mindset that our people have that we can't fight against a system right. that's designed right. to to oppress us. Mm -hmm. Can I pull a precept? Um, yeah, Psalms ten, verse eight, and it, also this is the, the the shadow of death that the Bible is speaking of. Not what y'all talking about with the in Christianity. Y'all know the shadow of death is. The shot of death is your captivity and your life is, is expendable. Right. That's it. That's it. No justice that your, that your oppressor can murder you and get off scot-free. Mm. Read on. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 10, verse 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doeth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. You see that? That's why the most high, the most high hate that thing. When you take advantage of the needy and the poor. That's why he say if the needy and the poor, their prayers reach my ears. They, you will have a problem with the maker. Because you're supposed to support the poor. Remember we read in, in, in Luke 22? The 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 um the ruler supposed to understand the servant and the servant supposed to esteem the ruler. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the well organized mindset that the most high want us to have when we in rulership. But a lot of times when we in, when we in rulership, we turn a blind eye to those who are those who are in power when they commit crime. You know, when they're when when they're when Y'all talking too loud. So when when they are in power, to where? Uh, matter of fact, just read Deuteronomy seven one and seventeen. Yes, read that. Watch this. This is what the Most High don't want us to rule like. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter one and verse seventeen. Ye shall not respect persons in judgment, but ye shall hear the small as well as the great. Ye shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's. You see that? That's what the that's how the most I told us he want us to judge. Don't have a respect of person because you judging a Michael Jordan versus you judging a Tyrone. Now Tyrone right. cases, he everybody's on the panel, everybody is going through the files, everybody doing a diligent inquisition to make sure that this person is getting judged according to his crime. Then with a Michael Jordan, you throw things out the window. You, you overlook certain things. Why? Because that's Michael Jordan. But not understanding Michael Jordan is a good basketball player. Don't make him a, a good human being. That's, that's, the only, that's, that's where he get his name from. Being a basketball player. That's it. So these are the things that the Mosai don't want us to rule like. So when you go back to um, Psalms 10 and verse 8, 
that's how you're supposed to deal with the needy. Because if a Michael Jordan come in your town, people will respect him. They'll give him honor. And they will and, and they will esteem him. And he don't care nothing about you. How many marches that Michael Jordan went to? How many more how many how many times you, you, you got a lot of Jordans marching? But how many times Michael Jordan marched in the march? For righteousness. You know what I'm saying? So these are the things the leaders who you, who you supposedly esteem, he's supposed to support the people. Why? Because the people support him. But how can you have a cycle when you support somebody that don't that doesn't support you back? But go back to um, uh, verse eight. Psalms ten and eight. Psalms, verse, yeah. Yes, Psalms chapter ten and verse eight. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doeth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. Right. It say he sitteth in the lurking places of the village. What is the village? Your ghettos. Right. Your hoods. The the places, the doorways, the, the closet of America. That's what that's where the people goes to release some energy, right. to release some anger, to blow things off. You know how some blow people go team, to, right. right, you know how some people go to the country and blow up cars and stuff like right. the old cars and just beat cars, bust the windows, and just to release their anger. Right, right. But guess what? A lot of these other nations, when things ain't going right, their wife is cheating on them. They didn't get the promotion they want. They go back into our community and release that stress on our people. Right. But they say they sit in the lurking. How, how do they lurk in our communities? They put drugs there. They put bake cars there. They, they, they bake trucks full of Jordans. That's entrapment. Right. That's entrapment. So you're trying to agitate. You, you're provoking. Right, right. But these are supposed to be the the uh, the law or enforcement. Right. That's that mischief working, uh, uh, framing law by mischief. That's that evil. That's that uh, annoyance because he can, he he make the law. He say, oh, okay, as you just said, Cap, I'm entrapment. I'm gonna put this here, the bait car, the bait trucks to say, hey, I'm gonna tempt them with this. We know one of these little ends go go come and. You know, breaking there and steal it, right. and we go take his little black to jail. Right. Now we got another one in the system, a slave, making money for us. Right. Crazy, Read it again. Psalms chapter 10, verse 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doeth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. Why do he sit against the poor? Because he know the poor nobody cares about the poor nobody's going to help michael jordan is not even going to be, be able to see what's going on from where he's from mm -hmm. in this mansion in california he's not going to see what's going on if he was there and felt it like moses did and, and see the burden on his people right, right. then he will feel compelled to do something that's why a lot of times our people stay away because they don't want to feel compelled to have to do something or say something Right. Because you're going <laughs> Our people are spiritual They're they going to want to say something right. But you have to be cold But the only way that we able to uh, um, To How I want to say um, To avoid that anxiety We stay away Right. But these things are going on In our community Because the people that's there Don't have money to buy a lawyer don't have money to create an outcry or have connection with people in politics or governors, uh, mayors, chief of police. They don't have that. Right, right. They don't have that. You just, in their eyes, you just crying wolf. Pretty much. Mm. But your little son just got killed wrongfully. What's the scripture say? What's going to happen? They lay, they, they, they lurk in, in secret places. You know when you go to um um a, um, a nice neighborhood. You see the police right there at the store, at the gas station, right. watching you go by, waving at you, you know, trying to um, create dialogue right, right, right. to show you that I'm here to protect you. To make you comfortable. To make basically. you comfortable. But you go in the hood, you be driving, you be driving, you hit, you pass real like, oh, damn, I ain't see the police right there. <laughs> they, they just lurking, they hiding, you know what I'm saying, waiting just to to, to, to jump out and pounce on you like a lion. They right. up under the, the underpass and over decked off in the, uh, 
you know, the, right. the trees and stuff yeah, where you can't see them. Got them right. You don't see them to your Got them. What you call them? Right. What you call them? Right. Smoke cars. Oh, uh, the, the blackouts. Bl- yeah, them black, them black yeah. cars. Right, the right, blackouts. Right, right. yeah. Everything yeah. black on black. Right. Only thing you gonna see when the lights come on. Right. <laughs> Only single one you got is that little thing at the top of the hood. Right. I mean, you know, the top of the ceiling. Uh, yeah, the, uh, all right, here goes the some antennas. solutions because because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, Israel, you know, we about to wrap it up. But at the end of the day, like our job is to show you that you can avoid all this. You know what I'm saying for us because we we subject to them because of us because of our sins. You understand? And the Most High has put us in this situation or this condition so we can repent, mm-hmm. so we can come out of the ways of America, this system that we live in, because it's perverted us. Right. It's perverted our thinking. Everything that we know is them. It's those nations. All right? You want to find some type of religion, you go to what? Christianity. Right. That's the white man. Whatever branch of it. Methodist, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay? Then you want to be a Muslim. Run the Islam. Right. You got branches of that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Crazy ones, ones that say we just trying to seek peace. Allah. Mm-hmm. This is the mindset that our people in, you know. But the Most High give us the way and the the wisdom on how to deal with these nations and deal with the police as a whole, right? Right. The people in authority that He put in authority. Uh, let's go to Matthew five and twenty five. The Most High put them in authority because we rebellious. We can't govern ourselves. I know Cap I always bring that up. You know, like That's true. if we could govern ourselves and apply these commandments, right? Love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah, right. right. I love my brothers and sisters. I'm not gonna steal from them. Right. I'm not gonna cover them and try to take their wife, holler at their wife, right. so on and so forth. Then we, we don't need nobody to govern us. Right. That's right. The laws are already govern us. Right. But the most I say, no, nah, these little nigs over here, they not they they destroy it. Right. So I need to set a nation over them, that's right. going to help them be governed. Right. right. You know, read right. that. Ain't that what the scriptures say in Deuteronomy 4, Cap? That they look and see the wisdom amongst us and say, wow, this is a wise and understanding people. <laughs> Are they doing that today? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 25. Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge and the judge deliver thee to the officer and thou be cast into prison. You see that? It say agree with thine adversary quickly. Yes, sir. No, sir. You know, license, registration, insurance, whatever. Here you go, sir. Now, that don't mean that he go take that not, uh, he, that, mean, that don't mean he's not going to abuse his power to do the opposite of the, the law abiding things that you did because that's the power that he's given. Right. You understand? Keep reading. Oh, no. Verse. It, no, no, no. Whilst thou art in the way with him, while you right there in his way, in his presence, lest any time thine adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and the, thou be cast into prison. So all that bottom piece of precept today. You can exclude that hmm. because that officer is judge, jury, and executioner. That's right. But even if you make it <laughs> past that, right, mm-hmm. by the, by the uh, skin off your back, as they say, right, by the skin of your teeth, right. if you make it past not getting shot, tased, or beat, or whatever, then you make it to the judge, you, you're still not going to be judged righteously. Why? Because this is our doing. This is yeah. our seeing the you see them old. When you see them old Edomites look like Barbara Bush on a jewelry, you and they say they show peers. You know that's not your peers, right? right you know they right. you don't have nothing coming with them at all, right? And they don't even understand you. Only they know you from TV, the videos and right, movies, right? Right? What's portraying you as a criminal? That's right. You think they gonna judge you righteously? Right? <laughs> no, it ain't going down. Um, uh, go to uh Sirach nine and thirteen. Sirach nine and thirteen. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 9 and verse 13. Keep thee far from the man that hath power to kill. So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares. 
and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. You see that this is the, the Bible give us the wisdom on how to deal with these nations, right. how to deal with the powers that be. You understand? It said, "Keep thy, keep thee far from the man thou had that had power over power to kill me." I'm sorry. So, whoever it may be, it may be your own brother. All right, and it, we're reading to kill you right now. Right. But we just read an article where a brother raped a sister. He had the power to do that. Right. He didn't kill her. He was like, no, I'm going to kill you. And you read it. He, he, you read the article more. He basically told her, you go give me sex or I'm going to get these charges on you. And he still had sex with her and gave her charges. This is the power that's given to the other nations and our own people. All right. It says, so shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. So that's agree with your adversary quickly. Right. All right. It says, if thou come unto him, make no fault. You know, your job is to do what he asks you to do. All right. Lest thou take away thy life presently. He has the power to kill. That's all it's saying. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares. That's going back to what Cap just brought out in uh, Psalms 10. Uh, lurk, lurking, what is it? Lurking places. Lurking places. These are the snares. These are the traps. That's the bait card, the so on and so forth, that's set up for you to get trapped in, for you to get uh, jacked up on. You know, another snare that, that, that we overlook Go ahead. is domestic violence. The woman calling, right. the, our sister's right. calling, the, bringing the police in. That's right. Yeah. Calling the yeah. police. And they like, all praise her, another opportunity. I know he's mad. His wife, his, his woman right, is disrespecting right, right, him. Right, right. All this type of stuff. So they give us another opportunity to come there. That's right. And a lot They'll of time, I saw to, to take you to jail, to beat right. you, whatever. Like a lot of times, sisters call the police for their children that's, that's dealing with autistic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And they be getting gunned down. The police, oh, yeah. right, they, right, they right, be right, expecting right. those calls. You know right. what I'm saying? That's another snare, another opportunity. That's, some, that's another street, uh, stress reliever, huh, Cal? Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man. Uh, Okay, so from there, uh, you got some? And it say, keep thee from far from the man that has the power to kill. See, our people, they really think they Esau. <laughs> they got their spiritual blonde hair in. Been assimilated, they, they got their spiritual long nose. They got right. their spiritual tight they lips. Spiritual long nose, not big long. You know what I'm saying? Man. And they think they Esau, and they right. can say what they want to say. It say, no, you can't say what you want to say. You, they have the power to kill you, put you to death, because you, no matter what you think you have, right. mm -hmm. no matter how much you think you have uh, 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 accomplished the American dream, you still that need. Right. right. And you need to be dealt with. You know what they used to call you back then? A uppity nig. Right, pretty mm. much. That need to be reminded of their positions. Like Emmett Till, they knew he wasn't from there. They knew he was from Chicago, up north somewhere. Right. He went. He from. He went from down south. The way he conducted himself, he had too much cock. He was too cocky. Too much confidence. Right. Right. His hair was blown up. Right. And he need to be reminded that this is the dirty, dirty south. That's the relaxed state that our, our people in today. Right. You know right. right. And they be and they become detached. De That's right. And then Esau have to remind you who you are. That right. I have the power to kill, and I can get away with it. I have too much to put. I have too much to prepare a case. Right. I have too much to 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 um to to sway the the minds of the masses. That's right. That's right. To line everything up. Mm -hmm. To paint the picture. Right. I have the power to do that, right. and we don't understand that. So therefore, that's when our people get pulled over. And now they say, "I have the right." You don't have no rights. <laughs> mm. I'm video recording you. So <laughs> just be <laughs> just because I have eaten my friends. What that mean? I don't care. Right. Then you're gonna be a, 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 a Howard Shaw. You know you're gonna be streaming the Howard Shaw. <laughs> I thought you were sovereign. You snatched out the car. No, like they said, knowledge is not power. Power is power. Right. And that's what he just showed them. You think you got power? He gonna bust your window and dive in the car and come get you. Now right. your now your right. wife is seeing you being taken advantage of. Oh no, you Howard Shaw. Yeah, like he Howard Shaw was like, hey man, I went through mines. I was I was on the cross. I didn't come down. Now right. if they come down for a, tra a traffic stop, right. are you serious? <laughs> no, nah, man. Fool. 
Call the angels. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to send seven legions of angels just come get you because you got a tail light out. Because <laughs> you know the real name. <laughs> I people, mean, man, mentally, me, me, mental illness, bro. Right. Have the power to kill, and what Captain is going into is the solutions. Right. You have to understand that I'm in a situation. I'm in the land of my enemy first and foremost. They looking for any and every opportunity to put me to death. My, you know, you know, you in fear because your palms are sweating, <laughs> and your heart is beating. Right. So that lets you know that you. This is not an average traffic stop. You're not not your eat. I know you're on the passenger side of your eating, my friend, and how they conduct themselves with their brothers. But you're not their brother. So, being mindful of those these these mm -hmm. being, having that mindset and understanding that it's two different playing fields that you're on. Right. Yeah, just on that. When I was in trucking school, this eating my that I was riding with we was going to the DPS office in Dallas, and he was supposed to be my partner, or whatever, trucking or training. This eating my I got pulled over. Right, this eater might tell the cop, like he in the passenger seat. He was like, "Cause uh, that's that that uh, what's the word? The uh, yeah, white privilege. White privilege, right? There you go. Uh, when the last time you calibrated your gun? Like what? The, like who? Who he asked questioned him? He questioned. You know what I'm him. saying, right? He questioned. He. He uh to let him know that he know right to let him know that he know. He questioned his authority or her. It was a woman. Her authority. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Kev. Like, just, just let it go. Like, I'm going to take the <laughs> ticket and go about my damn business. Right. Hey, Kev, he asked that to make sure that she don't miss. Damn. Damn. And, and that's, and, and yeah, <laughs> because. Be make sure you don't miss. Right. If, you, if it go left. Because this guy, five, huh? <laughs> because this individual, I'm riding with him. I'm training and everything. I don't know but this. I want his job. So by any means Damn. necessary, I need this job. <laughs> when have you calibrated right, your gun? Right, make sure right, you right, don't right. miss. That was a cold word. When did you oh, sight? Right, right. When you sight last time you sight right, your pistol? Right. We here. That's what he wants. So want. these are the things that we have to be mindful to know that you know it's not equal because you have to teach your children on how to respond to the police. Right. Esau don't have to do that. At all. But let's show you how you're supposed to respond when you when you're dealing with an individual that have the power to kill. Proverbs 15 and 1. You know, the scriptures say be wise as a serpent, mm -hmm. but harmless as a dove. That's right. What you're trying to do, you're not trying to be, you're not trying to play hero ball. You're trying to survive. Right. You're trying to make it back home to your, your wife and your children. That's right. That's right. Not trying to prove a point for right. YouTube right. And, and some um some electronic friends. <laughs> your follower. Though. Yeah. You're not trying to do that. You're trying to make it home to your family and friends. Right. Not right. what you've been studying all for, for weeks and months and say, I can't wait till I get pulled over. I'm going to utilize this thing. And right. then Esau going to show you that none of that matters with a gun in your face. The book of Proverbs, chapter 15 and verse 1. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Right. I got to have so many traffic tickets by the police. Just telling police, I'm sorry, I apologize. Here's my license. Here's my insurance. Right. You know, because a lot. Of, one thing about people in authority they don't want you try, they don't want you to, to demean the authority. Right. There you go. They don't want you to belittle them. Right. And that's also just a, out of respect. You know, and a lot of times we be, we see our mother disrespect our father and we pick up those attributes and we disrespect our teachers, our principals, and now we try to go take that behavior into the streets. And the police say, "Uh-uh. I don't know who taught you that. I don't know who told you that. Now let me remind you." Right. right. So but mm -hmm. You have to learn. Be, you you have to learn something that you never was taught. So the Bible is trying to help us be born again on how we conduct ourselves when we come into the and come in in, in um in the counter with a man that have the power to kill. Right. How are you supposed to conduct yourself? Agree with your adversary quickly. Right. Um. Be wise as a serpent, but humble as a dove. Right. And speaks how you do that by speaking softly. Yes, sir. I was wrong. I see that I was going over. You and a lot of us know that we was wrong. Right, right, right. You know you was going um right. ten miles over the speed limit. Right. Yes, a lot of people do it. Yes, a lot of people do it and they don't get ticket. But guess what? Today is your day. Yeah, you right. got caught. Right. You can't say everybody else doing it. Right. Okay, sir. I'm sorry. Um, I won't do it again. Man, police. He about to give me a ticket, and I was and I told him I apologize. I, you know, um, I have, I was having a long day, just trying to leave work, rush to get home. You know, to handle the situation. And he was just like, you know what? I'm going to chalk with a verbal warning. The soft answer can even, you know right. how they say, um, when a man weighs, please the Lord, make even his enemies be at peace with him. Right. Right. That's right. Because 
they expect you to act crazy right, and right, to right. escalate it, but you was de-escalating when he approached. Right. right. Sometimes you gotta you gotta police the situation. Pretty much. That's right. And that's what our people don't understand. You have to to um, transform and be the police officer to de-escalate the situation. That's right. Because he's coming with that power to kill. You don't know who he is. Who you don't, you don't know who coming out them that, that um that squad car. Right. right. You don't know it's just Jason. Um, boy, he Michael Myers. Damn. You know you don't know who it is. Really you don't know cool. the the the, the um, Michael Douglas from falling down. You don't know who coming out that police car. Mm. KKK without the hoodie. For you real. don't know who coming out that police car, or you Nazi don't know if you about to get Brad head. Pitt. You don't know who's coming out that cop. Right. So. Right. Read on. Read and, it and again. Cap, and Cap, and 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 it even back you up. You got Jake that want to run their mouth. This dude been training MMA, all these other different things for the last 10, 15 years. Know how to shoot a gun at the drop of a dime. And you just got through smoking two pounds of weed. And you think you're going to keep up with this dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. Our people, not pre you not prepared for to go to war with them at right. all. Not even, like you bring it out, even with your words. Mm. You got to watch your words when right. you're dealing with these people. Right. right. It's called verbal judo. Right. Right. Learn some verbal Bring it judo. Out. Right. You know what I'm saying? To say, you know what? I'm not ready. You know what I mean? Just like I hate to say it, rest in peace to our sister Sandra Bland. She could have handled that situation a better way. A spiritual way. You know, to where we where we at. Read on. Proverbs. Verse two. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools pour it out foolishness right you can't arrest me right. you can't stop me what you doing no he, he can't do that he can to do. he have all power you remember his his forefathers enslaved your people they cut your they cut your little children hands off when they didn't bring enough it cotton. out i mean enough cotton enough to um tobacco no sugar cane bring they beat their bats they had them working in uh, uh um they were they had them working in mines and died before they got their menstruals our little daughters right. They had them working from sun up to sun down. Can't see to can't see. Right. Right. You remember that? So, yeah, they have the power. God put you in their hands. Why? Because you can't control your mouth. Right. Because that mouth didn't just start it there. That mouth started at home with your brothers and your sisters. Right. Bring it out. Your mothers and your fathers. That's where that mouth started from. That's right. And that's why the most I said the, the mouth is speaking now foolish things because you say things out of your own vain imagination and not understanding that the words that you're speaking it have your life in the balance of death right go ahead you got some ups no you finished with it Appreciate it. read on verse three the eyes of the lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good mm -hmm. a wholesome tongue is a tree of life but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. Just like the bitch went into, that's a crack in your spirit. Right. That 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 tongue that you have is going to be your shame. That 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 tongue can be your shame or your deliverance. That's right. why I say a tree of life. When a tree of life that can help you survive, and we already know the tree of life is salvation. It's keeping the commandments. That's what that tree of life is. But also that 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 wholesome tongue can help save your life. Help right. save a world of harsh conditions that our people don't understand. That's why I say your tongue is like a sword. And we don't understand that. Let me bring a quick precept behind that. Uh, Sirach 18 and 27. Sirach chapter 18 verse 27. Because you're talking about situations where it comes down to this could be your life. This could be your death. Right. Okay. So we're saying we're trying to give some solutions. So here's here's a good solution for any type of situation. Read that. Sirach 18 verse 27. The book of Sirach chapter 18 and verse 27. A wise man will fear in everything. It says a wise man will fear in everything. Read. And in the day of sinning, mm -hmm. he will beware of offense. When you're caught up in that situation where it's a day of sin, meaning where there's a day of transgression. I may have ran that stop sign. Oh, I was 10 miles over the speed limit. Like you say, I don't know who is getting out the car, what type of data they had, but it says a wise man will fear in everything. Let me humble myself down because I already know the reputation that is out there. Hmm. I already know the challenges that are set before me being in this dark skin. Right. Hmm. So let me be wise and humble myself down. Have my ID ready. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. No, ma'am. 
because what? I'm going to humble myself down. Right. I'm going to humble myself down. Have fear in everything. Acknowledge that he has power over me. Exactly. Acknowledging right, right. that. Acknowledging that. Showing that he's in control. You have the upper hand or she's in control. You have the upper hand. I'm not here to cause an offense to you. I'm not here to buy you. I want to make your day as pleasantly as possible. Let's get this over with as quick as possible. You have the abilities to do whatever it is you need to do. Our right. people, when the police pull up, they have that spirit of confrontation. Yes. They have, right. it's about to be a battle. That's how they pull up. Matter of fact, the police got to tell them what they want to do. <laughs> you know he's walking up. <laughs> and, and you got limo tent. <laughs> You have limo tent. He can't see up in there, and you let the window down. What? Mm. <laughs> and it's on from there. Yeah, what you want? <laughs> and it's on from there. My license. Why you pull me over? <laughs> yes, I have insurance, but you can't see it. What's your name? What's your badge number? Mm. Get your chief of police out here. What? I was just gonna tell you that you know you 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 <laughs> your back light your is back out. Back light was out. <laughs> and get it fixed and move right, on. Right. I don't. Not, I don't. I don't know if you know. Right. But not since you want to be big and bad. Now you want to go there. Let me show who, who yeah, really bad. Let me bad. show you who really bad. Right. Exactly. You, know, you better beat. I it. got let a club you, name. Yeah, let me show Michael you. Michael Jackson. The pants in Michael this Jackson. You better beat it. <laughs> I got a club named Billy. You want to talk to him? Yeah, for real. Yeah. Fin finish that precept at the bottom. Yes, sir. But a fool will not observe time. But a what? A fool will not observe time. That's our people right there. Foolish. Don't understand. Not observing the situation that they are in. Not understanding that this could be the end of you. This could be it. The next the next somebody hear about you will be on 9 o'clock news. Right. Right? Just a quick preset. Yes, sir. Um, before we get ready to wrap this up, Israel. So just understand, Israel. Right. The power is not in our hand. You know what I'm saying? That's why he tells us in 2 Corinthians 10, Ezekiel 4, uh, that this the weapons of our warfare is not corner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have to let the Most High move in this. You know what I'm saying? Go to um, Isaiah 35 and 4. The Most High is going to fight for us. That's what we have to put our hope and trust in, you know. And he's going to help us not to fear because whatever deemed to happen is who? It's of the Lord. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 35 and verse 4. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. That's what we're waiting on the most high. Right. We want the most high to what? Put us in the spirit where we at now. We don't fear. But a lot of our brothers and sisters, they fearful because the powers that be. They are of God. He put them in power. They say, be strong and fear not. We are teaching our people not to fear. Once you understand the scriptures, who you are, whose you are, and what you did against your God, right. repent. Turn back to the commandments. Okay? And not to say things not got, not going to happen to you because you read in the Bible, our forefathers went through these same things. Right. These same persecutions. These same imprisonments. You understand? So it's still, it's prophecies. The Bible going to be fulfilled. You understand? But the Most High is un helping us understand in the manner of which your mindset going into those things. Okay? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Go to um, Baruch 4 to touch on what the captain is going into, which is heavy. And this is that spirit to where. We're not saying all this to scare you. We're not like these other uh, uh, conspiracy theories right. and just putting fear in your heart and no solution. We're going to give you solutions because our job is not to scare you. Our, our job is to warn you and right. admonish you and right. to help you understand what the hell you're going through. Right. right. And here's the solution. Go to verse 25. This is the book, Baruch, book of Baruch chapter 4 and verse 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. You see that? So everything we saying, suffer, we're not saying to uh, speak softly with your enemies. And I mean, we're saying speak softly to your enemies, not just because they just better than you or nothing like that. We understand that the power that the Most High gave them, right. and we're trying to teach you how to survive. But you have to suffer that affliction patiently right 
and be and, and wait on the Lord because his vengeance is going to be much stronger than, than what, what I can ever do, That's what an AK-47 or 9 right. millimeter can ever do right. because he is pending death. He's pending danger. Right. That's what we're trying to show you. But yes, do what you got to do right now to survive, but as you survive, it's something heavy is coming down the pipe that right. you don't even see because you're not using your spiritual mind. You're using your carnal mind. Jump down to verse 31. Verse 31. Miserable are they that afflicted thee mm -hmm. and rejoiced at thy fall. Right? Yeah. They Mis kill us down the street and, and, and laugh and rejoice right, at it. Right. Put it on face like the dudes in Georgia. They, they said to right. put that, uh, that, that picture on Facebook. Right. Not just to say how, how bad it was. No, to flaunt that um, that my brothers killed a nigger. Right. Basically. Right. That's Look at what our trophy. Happened. This is our trophy because they, but what people fail to realize, they had a Facebook group talking about it already right. that they was gonna shoot a um a person that that they feel unneeded in their community. Wow, and which is a black person that they see all the time running that community. Go ahead, verse thirty two. Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. Go ahead. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, mm -hmm. and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. Jump down to 37. Verse 37. Lo, thy sons come, when thou, whom thou sentest away. They come, gathered together from the east to the west, by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of God. You see that? Everything that you go through, the, you have to understand that there is a deliverance for you out of this, capti out, out right. of this captivity, right. out of That's this right. oppression, out of these police brutalities, out of these red lines, black codes, all these things that make you feel a second-class citizen, to make you feel unhuman humane right. these conditions that we are living in right. no don't get comfortable understand that this too shall pass this too shall pass and when this pass god said i'm going to gather you from east to west from all over the earth everywhere you were scattered into slavery i'm going to gather i'm going to gather you so this is not saying that this is not a hate campaign this is a truth campaign and saying right. you have a judgment for all the action that you have committed on the 12 tribes of israel which right. is god chose the people the apple of his eye right Oh, praise to the Most High, Israel. Um, I pray y'all got something from this class. Um, don't forget to uh, go to our page on YouTube, um, IUIC dot Houston, um, and as well our Twitter and our uh, Instagram pages. Um, as well, don't forget to go to Original Royalty and uh, buy you know the things that's on there. You know from. Uh, Bibles, apocryphers, to fringes, board of blue, to posters, to music. All these things that you purchase go back to help the nation, right. all right? Um, as well as the Booster Club. Uh, don't forget to go to IUIC Fundraising at IsraelUnite.org to become a member of the Booster Club. Right. So, Lord willing, when the Most High open things back up, the prophets will be able to go to these other countries and wake our people up, all right? Um, don't forget to, you know, rate and like on all our uh, IUIC pages, all right, um, as well as the uh, podcast to rate, like, comment on that, and hey, share it with your friends and family, all right. Uh, so with that, Israel, um, pray y'all enjoy the class, and uh, take the wisdom from it, all right. So with that, we say shalom. Most high Christ bless y'all. Shalom, Son Christ bless. Next week, Lord willing. Shalom, Israel. We used to scream Black Power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth